Hey guys, we are back here, or I am back here in the garage, talking about the new project that we're going to be doing on the channel, JT and I, and it is going to be a go-kart, actually. So here's the first piece of the puzzle. This is uh, 7 horsepower, or claim to be 7 horsepower, right on the cover here, um, engine with a 1 inch output shaft. There's the carb, exhaust, <laughs> this is exhaust. Um, yeah, so this was actually from a snow blower. That's why it has, I don't know if you saw, it's got actually two shafts, one for the wheel drive, one for the snow blower drive. And um, actually it had been sitting in that green bin over there for supposedly eight years and get it out, plugged it in. It's got this electric start right here and it fired right off after eight years which is pretty cool pretty cool to see and so that that got me really excited about the whole thing and so i decided that i'm going to be making a go-kart jc's going to help out too but he wasn't here today and i already started this is going to be completely from scratch no like no kit no nothing and yeah so <laughs> Here's what I've got going. This is the start of the go-kart frame, which is made out of three-quarter inch conduit from Home Depot. It's pretty cool. I actually I had never I never knew how to weld before today, so I learned today and immediately started welding up a go-kart frame. But it's pretty good. I mean, the it's sloppy. The welds are sloppy. Geometry is looking pretty good, uh, but it'll hold. It'll hold real well, so that's that's good. And so basically, if I'm gonna try to give you guys an idea of what this cart is gonna be, this isn't gonna be like a road race, so to say, cart. Like this isn't gonna be super low to the ground with like slicks on it. This is gonna be more of like a dirt road, dirt track race cart. So like somewhere between an off road and a uh, pavement type deal so actually i didn't show you guys this quite yet over here these wheels and tires are from the snowblower and i think i'm going to be using them <laughs> i don't know if they're going to go on the front or the back haven't really ordered any parts besides just the the tube for the frame and the engine that's the only parts i've got pretty much haven't ordered anything else. So I'm not sure if these will end up on the front or the back. But some other things uh, about the cart. It is going to have a live axle. So it will be a two wheel drive in the back, rear wheel drive. Um, it, I'm still deciding. I think to start out I'm going to be ordering a centrifugal clutch for it. Uh, even though a torque converter is way better. But I think I'm going to try to find something real cheap just to just to get off the ground and just get it going and then once I've dialed out some other things like exhaust obviously not going to keep this <laughs> this piece on here that just doesn't look too good and it's probably restricting the engine um, yeah but anyway once I've sorted out some other things maybe some other performance upgrades on the engine uh, carb I don't know some some stuff like that carb exhaust that's mainly what i had in mind just those two things and i don't i don't know if it has a governor on it i'll find out but probably be removing that if it does one thing though actually i'll talk about that later but uh yeah so that's what i've got going and i'm gonna do a little more work tonight on it and hopefully tomorrow i'll be back at work I'm gonna try to try to get this frame done so you can start ordering parts and get really moving on it next weekend. So right now I'm just gonna here's the pipe. I'm just gonna be cutting up a brace in between here. Just a cross brace. But other than that, I mean this pipe, this is it seems like it's gonna work pretty well. And yeah, so that's just sort of an intro video to the to the project um try to get some 
action shots. I have some from welding this part. Try to get some more maybe, just so you guys can see how bad I am at welding. Um, yeah, but anyway, that's going to be it. So, that baby over there, those tires, and the frame.